This is what it's all about, the daily arrival of asylum seekers. Growing numbers are making this treacherous crossing, but also growing is objection to the government's plan to send migrants to Rwanda. The Home Secretary has hit back. Writing in the Times with the Rwandan Foreign Minister, Priti Patel says, we are taking bold and innovative steps and it's surprising that those institutions that criticise the plans fail to offer their own solutions. And solutions are hard to find, as the influx of small boats shows. We have a position now where last year 28,500 people uh, crossed the channel illegally into this country. Uh, that compares to just 300 in 2018. The government is taking tough action here and sending a very clear message uh, that it won't be possible um, to uh, uh, um, go through those people smugglers. But some say the plan won't deter crossings or human traffickers. Labour says a better system for asylum claims is needed. The problem we have at the moment is if you are not a Ukrainian, and I mean, let's not even begin to talk about how complex and slow that process has been, but if you're not a Ukrainian, if you're not an Afghan, um, uh, and if you're not from Syria, it's really unclear how you can uh, have any route to claim asylum. Here's where migrants will be sent, but who knows when or even if they'll arrive. One leading immigration lawyer says the whole idea is unlawful. I think there's going to be a number of individual challenges, but there's also going to be probably some larger challenge to the scheme itself, particularly around the fact that I think, well, we know it breaches international agreements, which are effectively taking up and tearing up and saying we don't want to be part of this anymore. And I think it's highly, highly discriminatory. As well as... The Home Secretary will make a statement on Tuesday. Meanwhile, crossings continue and there's a worry the plans will panic even more to make the journey. Laura Bundock, Sky News.